Hello, I'm Chris McDonald from Motor Talk, and welcome to the Motor Talk Edit Suite. I'm here to talk about the new Renault Clio. As you probably already know, small cars like the Ford Fiesta, the Volkswagen Golf, and Vauxhall Astra are all getting revamped, and Renault has ensured it keeps up with the pack by offering a tip top new Renault Clio. We were lucky enough to get invited by Renault to a recent test drive launch. The fourth generation Renault Clio has been pumped full of 21st century styling and topped off with Renault's new large diamond design language, resulting in a much fresher and significantly different looking generation of Clio. Even when compared to the previous generation Clio, it is clear that the fourth generation now offers a much more fluid design and, whenever possible, emphasis on Renault's new wraparound headlight design and front grille configuration by introducing contours that run the full length of the Clio's body. It is also worth noting that the Clio only comes in five doors, as opposed to the previous model which was offered in both three and five door body variants. Renault's refinements of the new Clio don't just stop at aesthetics, as there has been a big focus on efficiency. As well as there being an average of 100 kilograms shaved off its weight, the new Clio has gained an ultra-efficient 1.5 litre 90 brake horsepower diesel, which emits just 93 grams per kilometre of CO2 emissions and returns 83.1 miles per gallon. When its engine is specified with an EcoPack, its efficiency figures are boosted even further as CO2 emissions fall to just 83 grams per kilometre and its miles per gallon figure is boosted to a massive 88.3. There is also a new three-cylinder turbocharged petrol engine on offer, which produces 90 brake horsepower and admits sub 100 grams per kilometre of CO2 emissions. And this is the first three-cylinder petrol engine Renault has ever had. If a punchy petrol is what you're after, then you may want to wait for the Renault Sport model to arrive in the summer. Inside, the new Clio also gains an array of newly refined features. And like most of the newly revamped small cars out there, the Clio's cabin design is focused around a 7-inch screen centre console called an R-Link, which offers all the usual satellite navigation and Bluetooth gadgets. In total, there are four trim levels to choose from. A little convoluted for my liking, but nevertheless well equipped. So there we have it, a quick look at the new Renault Clio, one of 2013's most promising contenders and with a price tag of just £10,595 there is no reason why Renault won't see them flying off the shelves. Keep your eye out for the full Renault Clio review which will be circling the web in the very near future.